and welcome to Beer Trimication with Rabbit Hole Brewing. I'm Tom Anderson, standing in for Laren Cheek. And I'm Matt Morris, standing in for myself. And today we're going to be talking about our newest seasonal release, Rude Jester American IPA. Now Tom, what can you tell us about American IPAs? Well, first of all, that they're actually really tasty. Mm. Now our Rude Jester is a true American style IPA. And stylistically, it's probably closer to a West Coast IPA because of its pungent hop aroma. Dude. And I'm trying to explain what a West Coast IPA is. Phone call for you. They said it's important. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to take this. Seriously, he has to explain what a West Coast IPA is? Obviously, it's from the West Coast, not the East Coast. Uh, that's not entirely correct. I mean, uh, although it is aligned more with the West Coast than the East Coast style, there, there really is more to it than that. Uh, Rude Jester is an American style IPA. It has a crisp, lingering bitterness and an assertive hop flavor and aroma that combines the strong citrus qualities of the Centennial hop with the tropical notes from the Mosaic hop to present a really unique fruity hop flavor and a pungent Somewhat intoxicating hop aroma. It clocks in at about 7.7% .7 ABV and 70, 72 IBUs. It's, it's really a, quite a substantial beer. It is that. Mm -hmm. Now, Rabbit Hole usually likes to focus on underrepresented styles, but with Rude Jester, we chose to take a more popular style and, and add a different flair to it, something that was making phone call. Clint, we're filming. Have a little bit of respect. The phone rang. They asked for you. I'm really sorry. Listen, we get people complaining all the time. Ooh, we want an American IPA. So we made one. Best part about it is, while you're drinking it, your lips aren't moving. So drink up. Um. Well, I guess this is about the part that we normally talk about food pairings. Uh, so, well, Rude Jester is an aggressively hopped beer, so you're going to want to find a food that can really stand up to those hops. Uh, the barbecue pork holds up pretty well. The Mexicaners' Cajun food does well, although uh, the spices there get amplified a bit by the hops. That can be quite an experience. Uh, as for cheeses, uh, pairing a cheese with this when you're really looking for a bit of a sharpness to stand up to the hops, a lot with a bit of creaminess to provide some balance. A good blue cheese or a washed rind cheese should do nicely. Or perhaps a cannonzolo uh, could work well. And the key is to watch that the cheeses that you pick aren't too aggressive, or else the combination it can be a little bit unpleasant. Uh, this cheese actually can work well with dessert, too. Many people don't consider an IPA as an option here. But uh, the fruity characteristics of the root gesture really they, they kind of play well with chocolates, as well as a spice cake or perhaps a carrot cake. Now, Rue Jester is the next uh, seasonal available in the Season of Virtue, available on draft at your local watering hole. We wanted to make this phone again. Really? There wasn't even anybody there last time when you came in here. Do I get paid to answer the phone? Honestly, I'm not really sure what you get paid for. The business card says, Assistant Brewer. Matt. I guess you're on your own with this. I'm really sorry about this. Look, it's not that difficult. Go to your favorite bar. Ask for a rude jester. When they bring it to you, your mission is accomplished. If they don't have it, ask for the manager. And then compliment him on the great decision he's about to make to order some rude jester to be on draft at that bar. Now drink up. Cheers.